Welcome to Dad's RC Workbench. Uh, I'm just going to show you a how-to, um, something I found out just today. Uh, I am trying to rebuild this element front axle to uh, install on the rear axle of my Enduro to make it four-wheel steer. Um, trying to install these uh, steering knuckles and they need shoulder screws but I don't have any just laying around that came with a kit or whatever and they're already in use. So I went to the hardware store to see if I can find some sleeves because this is like a four millimeter hole and it needs to get, and then you slide a three, three uh, M3 screw in there um, to have it fit properly and still articulate. Um, found some metal sleeves, there, there were crimps. Um, let me show you. There are crimps for electrical connections. Um, I got these, which they were the proper diameter, uh, outer diameter, but uh, I found out when I got home that they were just slightly off for the inner diameter. Um, so instead of buying, which I might still do in the future, but uh, instead of buying shoulder screws, because um, I want to get this installed and you know, work on this project. Um, I came up with a solution. So this is a, a just a standard. It's a M3 by 10 um, metric screw um, that will go into this uh, front axle, which is the same size as the stock shoulder screw. Um, what I'm gonna, what I found is I just took some heat shrink. Oops. Let me uh, redo that. Took some heat shrink. I, I have small stamina I got from Harbor Freight. Came in like a multi pack. I'm just going to hit it with some heat. Try not to melt anything. Going to do that. Not with my hands. So I got my heat gun. Uh, this is a Sam Sauer 585 heat gun. Um, I have another video on it. I will put the uh, link up in the top right. So I'm just hitting it, just shrinking the little uh, heat shrink. So it's nice and tight right now, but it is just slightly um, a little loose. Which it'll work. Um, what I found is just taking another piece of heat shrink, the same diameter, and just trying to slide that over and then hit it again with heat. We'll get the the perfect uh, diameter, the the inner filling the inner diameter of the screw. So here's the end result. Let me put that in focus there. Now, what I did just to get the measurement, this was the sleeve from the trio um, knuckles and uh, C hubs. Or actually, no, the knuckles, sorry. Um, and I just, what I did was just measured it up and uh, fed it to length. So I got the proper, proper length. And it fits in prop, nice and neat. And um, now I can, I can screw it in. And I'll have that like slop, back and forth. Uh, I can screw it into the uh, C hub. So just kind of a, a poor man's version of a, a shoulder screw. And uh, I know a lot of crawlers use these. And I know some probably some bashers too. So um, and obviously this can be adapted to any size screw, length or diameter so uh, yeah just wanted to show you guys thanks for watching like and subscribe and uh, please check out my other uh, videos on my channel have a good one